Hi, I'm Beth Foster, a zookeeper here in the Africa area of the Oregon Zoo. Hey, Shana, do my job. I imagine you go into this line of work because you love animals. Absolutely. There's so many different aspects to our job, from feeding, cleaning, educating the public, and then, of course, spending all that quality time with the animals. Perfectly coordinated. That's Desi. Hi, Desi. He is a reticulated giraffe, and he is very friendly. So beautiful. He's so handsome, isn't he? If you hold it out a little bit um, out of his reach, oh, okay. he might show you that big, long tongue. Oh. There it comes. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it all. What a good boy. So we'll just sort of start in the end, just start throwing it all to the middle, we'll get a big pile. I think Kimberly Moss does something like this every day with all of her little zoo at home too. Oh shoot. <laughs> I keep overshooting. Who picks this up? I mean, is it just- We have a full-time custodial staff. Oh, good job. <laughs> There's a little stopper way down in there. Oh, there we, oh, there we go. <laughs> so now we're just gonna take it and sort of scrub. So that's one room done. We just have four more to go. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna go into the lion house. The male, more than anything, tends to like to welcome you with a giant roar. I know, hi. I cannot believe I'm this close to a lion. We're gonna have you be our pretend vet. I'm gonna be with you. Okay. There she is. And this is one of our more important behaviors because it allows us access to the side of her body which we can give vaccinations and draw blood. So would she just stay there while you drew blood? As long as we have food, she'll do just about wow. anything. So we use this little back scratcher to sort of bring the tail closer, touching. And then I have it. So if you wanna be in charge of holding this tail. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So this is just an alcohol swab. Great. And if you want to just, eh, just Take wherever. <laughs> no big deal, just swabbing a lion's Swab. tail. Just practice with touching her with a capped needle. Kind of hard or soft, yeah, just so yeah, she's used to the yeah. sensation. And we can pinch her a little to sort of get used yeah. to the poke. Okay. So we're going to pretend that this is her vaccination. Okay. So before you do, just Bring say it. touching. Touching. Anakin. Touching. Sometimes we do it with real needles. Touching. She's. Great. Yeah, she doesn't care. I don't want to let go. I know, she's so great. <laughs> That's amazing. And Ann will have her go in a up position, which is a great way for us to check her belly. We want her to be used to that flashlight. We want her to be used to a stranger doing it. We have 15 painted dogs now. We have the addition of 12. And our babies are just two months old. They are gorgeous. This is their meat. Oh, you smush it almost like I the do. lining the Kinda inside like, of the yep. coconut. Okay. We want them to have to work. A sign that says dangerous animals and I'm carrying a bucket full of raw meat. Now we have the cheetah watching. Just spread them out so or that when they come them, out. Or just like. However you want. I can't wait to see them run out and try to get them. They're gonna come out right there. It's a great job and they teach me so much every day in so many different ways. Mm -hmm.